we're gonna need is a socket set. We got some wire nuts. As you see, I kinda got the dash all apart. We're gonna take off the... Pretty much take these two bolts off right here. Again, a drill would work out a lot better if you have one. Okay, so now we got this dash off after we just pretty much pulled it. We're gonna slide the cereal out. I'm gonna have like all these extra wires. You're gonna unhook the antenna, pull them off, pull them out, and you can simply just pull it out like that. Okay guys, so we have the wiring harness from the pickup right here. We have all these wires. Of course, this is the antenna. And then we have the new wiring harness that comes from the Pioneer. This is where YouTube or Google comes in to figure out all these colors into this new wiring harness. And these are the other ones. So I sliced them and I came inside because I'm going to figure out how to wire it the hard way with the new stereo wiring harness. So to kind of give you guys an idea, if you're not familiar with wiring harnesses on the actual uh, stereo, the wiring harness a little bit better. Uh, the yellow is always the um, constant power. The red is the switch. The black is the ground. And then all of these are your speaker wires. Um, so whichever wiring harness you get uh, with your stereo, you just have to look up to see which wires are front, rear, negative, positive, etc. So we have the pink is the battery, 12 volt. The red white is the ignition wire. The orange is the dimmer. The yellow slash black, not quite sure, but the only thing I really seen was it was the antenna trigger, whatever that is. And then of course we have the speaker wires. And then we'll come over here to the second. So we have the line color is the factory amp turn on. We have all your speakers on this one. Here's a closer look. All the wires figured out. So we're gonna start skimming the wires. This is your ground, which I believe these are, your ground is the blue and the black. Your pink wire is your constant power from your 12 volt battery. So we're gonna always hook the ground up to the black and the blue stripe wire for your Dodge. Your yellow is your constant power and that would be to your pink, which is your constant power. The uh, red and white stripe is your switch. I guess that's what controls everything. The red and the red stripe, which is the switch. The yellow on the wiring harness is your constant power. The pink is your 12 volt constant power. The blue striped with um, black, it always goes to your ground on your wiring harness. And then we have the system control, the orange we figured is the dimmer, and then all the other wires are your, um, you know, speaker wires. Yet the lime green wire is the amp turn on wire, which of course we knew. We can, we can actually hook that up to the ignition switch wire, which that's going to create the amp to turn on and off. So guys, remember to always wire a nut and electrical tape each and every wire is very important so nothing hits inside. And then we're going to... <laughs> that was it, dude. <clears throat> the lime green is the amp turn on and you're just gonna hook that up to the ignition switch wire. The dimmer and my new stereo didn't come with a dimmer switch and then the system remote control, I didn't use that as well. Uh, I mean, the orange is the dimmer. I didn't need the dimmer as you guys seen and I didn't need the 
yellow wire as well. Those are the only two wires I didn't use was the yellow, which is the, I explained it earlier in the video. So I didn't use the yellow wire, which I explained earlier in the video what that wire is. And the demo wire I didn't use as well. So I'm going to cap both of those. And it um, seems like everything's working pretty good. So I'm going to hook this all back up and uh, hook the dash kit up. <laughs>